In this video, I'll show you how to do a multiple comparison procedure called Fisher's Least Significant Difference on, uh, uh, after you've done an analysis of variance and found a significant treatment effect. So if we revisit this uh, Chemitech example, so this was three different methods that we used and uh, the measurement of the number of units that were assembled each week. And we did an analysis of variance on this previously, and we found a F statistic of 9.18 with a p-value of 0 0.004, which allowed us to reject the null hypothesis. So the null hypothesis is that the treatment means are all the same. The alternative is that they're not all the same. But the question, arises which methods are different. So we have three methods, so we could compare A with B, A with C, or B with C. So we've actually got three pairwise comparisons that we could think about here. So I've summarized the data over here on the right. Uh, method A, 62 for the mean, sample size of five. Method B, 66 for the mean, sample size of five. Method C, 52 for the mean, sample size of five. Okay, so the way that Fisher's least significant difference procedure works is to first of all calculate the absolute difference in the means for each pairwise comparison. So between A and B, we're calculating the difference between 62 and 66. For A and C, it's the difference between 62 and 52. And then for B and C, between 66 and 52. Then we calculate a, a threshold or a critical value for the comparisons. And the formula for this it, uh, looks a little bit complicated. Uh, it uses the T distribution, the T distribution with 12 degrees of freedom and using the alpha of 0.05. And so that will give us uh, a T critical value that we then multiply by the square root of the mean squared error, which is this number here from the analysis of variance table, times one over the sample size for one of the, the treatments that you're comparing and plus one over the other sample size. And put all that together and you get 7.33. So you'll see that these three numbers, the, the three critical values are all exactly the same. And that's because we have equal sample sizes. If we didn't have equal sample sizes, these numbers would differ but because we do, they're all the same. So the criteria is if the pairwise difference, the absolute difference in the means is greater than this critical value, then we'll call that pairwise comparison significant, that difference significant. Otherwise, we'll call it not significant. So for A versus B, 4 is not bigger than 7.33, so that is not a significant difference. So looking at 62 and 66, those aren't far enough apart for us to call that a significant difference. But the other two are. So this one is A and C. That had a difference of 10. That was 62 and 52. So those are far enough apart that we call this a significant difference. And then the other one is, is this one, 66 and 52, they're 14 apart. So that's a significant difference as well. So we could summarize this analysis by saying the ANOVA, the analysis of variance told us that we had, that we could reject the null hypothesis. And that tells us that not all the treatment means are the same. And then when we did this pairwise comparison procedure, Fisher's least significant difference pairwise comparison procedure, uh, 
we found that there was no significant difference between A, a and B, but there is a significant difference between A and C and between B and C. So, uh, so that's an example of uh, multiple comparison after an analysis of variance.